Welcome to the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider of the Memphis Tiger Network. I'm Jeff Bible alongside Kevin Robinson and Coach. We caught up with you uh, last week uh, and, and just talked briefly a little bit about cross country. You guys were getting ready to go to the American Championships, and I know the the uh, the final qualifier for the NCAA is coming up, and now you're transitioning to indoor practice and, and the indoor season starting December 4th. Want to just give us a, a quick update on cross country, then we'll take a look at your track and field. Yeah, we, uh, we're in our final preparation now for the NCAA Regional Cross Country Championship, uh, which will be our final qualifying opportunity for that uh, cross team to advance. Um, just wrapped up our conference championship last weekend, and uh, it's, a, it's an exciting time right now as cross country is preparing for the biggest meet of the year, and we're also preparing to get the, the rest of the team ready for our first indoor champion, or not championship, but our first indoor meet. Um, so yeah, we got a lot going on. It's uh, it's an exciting time, and uh, we're really anxious to to keep moving forward. Coach, if, if memory serves me correct, uh, you were really excited coming out of uh, the indoor season a year ago. You, I think you were really happy with how the the men had done, how the women's program had progressed. Mm -hmm. How's that that transitioning now into into this season? Well, uh, you know, on the men's side, we we returned uh, a lot of really really high quality athletes. You know, from our runner up finish outdoor last year on the men's side, we returned about. 85% of the points that we scored. Um, so obviously we bring back a very strong core group. And uh, we've added some uh, we've added some talent in uh, basically every area. So, you know, I, I really feel like on that side with the men, um, as long as we don't get plagued by injuries and uh, our preparation is sound and we stay focused and motivated, I really feel like the men's team is prepared to step up. Um, practice has gone well, but you know, practice is practice. Yeah. Um, we, we need to go out and test ourselves against somebody else and just kind of get a gauge of where we're at and what we need to work on. So uh, I feel confident with that group. Uh, we still have a long way to go, but, you know, that's, that's uh, every track coach's mantra right yeah. now. Uh, on the women's side, it's a, it's a little different scenario. Um, last year was a bit of a rebuilding year for us. Uh, we did have some very, very... Uh, high quality performances on the women's side, but they were a little fewer and farther between than they were on the men's side. So, um, brought in some talent, uh, got some immediate impact type of girls on board. Um, the camaraderie, uh, the motivation is very, very high. Um, so I feel like they're ready to go out and compete. It's just a matter of uh, staying healthy, staying focused, and uh, you know, it's just it's time to go test ourselves. That's where we want to be. I was going to ask you with the, the maturation of that women's program, you, like, you should, like you said, you had some good performances last year, just maybe not as a whole to, to get that team score up. Is, is the program on the women's side, are you feel they're ready, maybe top, top two, three, four, ready to get in there and, and mix it up? You know, it's really hard to say uh, where we stack up with the conference because mm -hmm. uh, none of us have competed yet. Right. Um, I feel really good about where the girls are at. We're, we're training well. Um, the attitudes are in a really good place and uh, I feel like things are going well. Um, we, we basically didn't lose any points from our women's team last year and we brought in some pretty high caliber uh, girls in several events so I feel like we're going to be a better team. Now how much better? You know there's a lot of variables that go into that so uh, but I'm confident. Uh, I feel like the girls are working really really hard and you know, the attitude is, is such a big part of it, and this group right now has got a really, really good attitude, and they're working their tails off, and you know, I feel like they're a much better team than they were last year. The men's program seems to be in really good shape. You just said that that, that outdoor finish really propelling you toward the indoor season, and, and across the board it seems to be very strong. It's not a situation where you've got a good group of throwers and maybe you're lagging somewhere else. Across the board it seems to be very strong. Yeah, you know, that second place finish we had last year was kind of a heartbreaking situation because we we had the lead we actually had a substantial lead going into the 200 meter which is the third to last event of the meet uh, our four by one was disqualified uh, due to an exchange infraction uh, which obviously I was very unhappy about. yeah uh, we protested it but <clears throat> video evidence wasn't allowed so you know we had to take the, the reduction of points which really came back to hurt us mm -hmm. And uh, we watched that lead slip away uh, as Houston went one, two, three in the 200, and we didn't have an answer for it. Uh, so up until that point, we're, we're in control of that meet. And uh, for the guys to sit back and see that happen, it, it was probably the most motivating thing that could have happened to them. I mean, it was heartbreaking at the time. Right. 
But, uh, I mean, I think that that really fueled a lot of the training throughout the year. And the girls, too. I mean, they were right alongside us. And, and not only were they not, they were very motiva- motivated by the situation because that team two years ago was a runner-up team as well. So they've had a taste of the success. They saw the men enjoy a pretty high-level season last year. So they want to buy to that. They want a piece of it. And, you know, as a whole, the, the group's ready to rock. We just need to go out and beat up on somebody else. There you go. You don't have very long. December 4th, if you have less than a month, you're going to head up to Nashville and Vanderbilt send or meet. Yeah, we're looking forward to it. Uh, it'll give us as a coaching staff a chance to gauge where our kids are at, uh, what we need to work on, where we need to improve. And it'll give the athletes uh, a little bit of motivation seeing where they're at in December and, you know, trying to make sure they come back a little bit better uh, in January when we start the, you know, the main portion of our season. So, Excited to go compete. Um, Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt is a great, great facility, and uh, it'll be a highly competitive meet. So, you know, we're just looking forward to going up there and doing the best we can. What do you want to get out of that meet? Obviously, the competitive nature, you want to win as much as you can up there, but is, is this kind of a, a gauge to where you're a starting point gauge before you get into, uh, into, into the January meets? Yeah, it just gives us a, a, it gives us something to focus on throughout the fall. You know, the fall training cycle is long and you don't have a lot to look forward to other than the next day's training, right. you know. So we get a chance to look forward to an actual competitive setting, which is great. Um, it'll help us work out some kinks, uh, work out some of the rust, uh, and it'll give us a chance to, to understand a little bit more of the competitive maturity of the group. And, uh, you know, it'll, it'll hi- it definitely will highlight some things that we need to work on. And hopefully, you know, it'll give us a chance to see where some of these new kids are at and, um, that'll give us a better understanding of the team as a whole. All right. Well, Coach, sounds good. Best of luck up in uh, Nashville December 4th is that indoor meet, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you see see how you did there and get you ready for the, uh, the uh, spring portion. Sounds schedule. great. That is head coach Kevin Robinson. I'm Jeff Brightwell for the Wolf Chase Toyota Insider on the Memphis Tiger Network.